Thank you for tuning in to the 17th ZWO Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. We have some beautiful images to show you from talented astrophotographers around the world. And at the end, we will find out who will be crowned ZWO Astronomy Photographer of the Year. Without further ado, let's hear from some of the Royal Observatory Greenwich astronomers and find out who won. Our sun has had a busy year. 2024 saw us come to the peak of the solar cycle, the period when the sun is at its most active. Here on Earth, that solar turbulence treated us to stunning auroral displays in both the northern and southern hemispheres. But solar photographers were also met with new opportunities and challenges as our star entered its busiest period. All three of our prize winners in this category have documented just how lively the sun can be, so let's see some pictures. The highly commended for our sun goes to 500,000 kilometer solar prominence eruption by Pengfei Shu of China. This incredible eruption of solar material is longer than the distance from the Earth to the moon. A busy sun indeed. The runner-up is a sun yawn by Zhang Yangwang, also from China. This clever image shows the journey of a solar prominence ejection, with each panel showing the progression of time as the sun hurls off matter into space. And the winner of the Our Sun category is James Sinclair of the USA for his image, Active Region of the Sun's Chromosphere. This detailed study of the chromosphere shows a beautiful level of depth. It's rare that an astrophotographer is able to capture and refine such a close-up view of our sun. The night sky contains all the secrets of the universe, but it also makes for a grand contrast for appreciating our own little planet. By contrasting the vastness of space with earthly landscapes, astrophotographers have the opportunity to showcase their skills in capturing incredibly distant targets together to truly showcase the scale of space. Our highly commended award goes to Moonrise Perfection Over the Dolomites by Fabian Dalpiaz from Italy. This apparent settling of the moon in the mountains is only possible thanks to clever planning and composition and makes our Earth feel as distant as the moon. Runner-up goes to Trails at Rest by Alex von Harmelin from Australia. We're used to seeing the apparent movement of stars and planets mapped through long exposures, but here we also see the movement of the tides. An important reminder that even the clearest skies and seas are still full of movement. And our Skyscapes winner is The Ridge by Tom Ray from New Zealand. This superbly detailed image captures an incredible array of targets from Aurora Australis and the Milky Way, nebulas that would be astounding images on their own, and even distant galaxies. All this framing the mountains of Aoaki National Park, one of the most striking and unique landscapes of our planet. Our highly commended goes to Electric Threads of the Lightning Spaghetti Nebula by Xiao Yu Zhang and Fernando Yang from China. This supernova remnant, the expanding cloud of gas left by a dying star, cleverly balances visible and invisible light to give a harmonic perspective of space. And the runner-up is Veil of Stars by Zhejiang Jin, also known as Chris King from China. This ingenious composition demands a new perspective be taken towards the Veil Nebula reframing scientific imagery as art. And the winner of the Stars and Nebulae category is M13, an ultra-deep exposure of the popular cluster by the Distant Luminosity team from Germany. This team of four worked together to capture a truly huge amount of data and produce one of the clearest amateur images of this cluster yet seen. They're dedicating their win to Dr. Svetomir Lukanov, who recently performed a life-saving operation on the son of the team coordinator. Congratulations to the team and well done, not just for this inspiring image, but also for supporting their teammate during a very difficult time. It's important to remember that as we look up to the stars, we also need to take care of each other here on Earth. Hello, I'm Paddy Rogers, the director of Royal Museums Greenwich. Every year, we award prizes to young astrophotographers, people under the age of 16 who are just getting started in the field of astrophotography. Our first highly commended is Total Solar Eclipse by Louis Egan, aged 15 from Canada. 
also highly commended, is The Moon with Saturn by Shamik Gajdar, aged 13, from India. And our runner-up award goes to C2023 Chu Chin Chan Atlas, The Great Comet of 2024 by Holden Imar, aged 15, from the USA. And the winner of the ZWO Young Astronomy Photographer of the Year is Daniele Borsani, aged 15 from Italy, for his image, Orion, the Horsehead, and the Flame in H Alpha. Remarkably, this is Daniele's second consecutive win, making him the first ever back-to-back -back winner of this category. Huge congratulations to Daniele. Aurora photographers were absolutely spoiled in 2024, with Solar Cycle 25 bringing storm after storm. And as this was the first time since digital cameras became accessible that our sun has been this active, more people than ever were out capturing the Aurora and returning some of the best images we've ever seen and from more places than ever before. Our highly commended is Aurora over Mono Lake, a rare dance of light by Daniel Zafra from Spain. This rare sighting of the Northern Lights in California shows how important it is to take these opportunities when they appear. And as runner-up, Celestial Arch by Luis Villarino, also from Spain. With strong auroras spreading around the world, Luis went the extra mile to travel to Iceland to record one of the most spectacular light shows in one of its strongest places. A superb take on a classic shot, combining time and place perfectly. And our Aurora winner is Crown of Light by Kevin Che from New Zealand. A rare Aurora Australis, Kevin made the most of the recent solar storms to capture the elusive and beautiful southern lights. It took a strong solar storm to create such a beautiful aurora, and Kevin didn't let it slip away unrecorded. The Annie Maunder Open category challenges entrants to use pre-existing astronomical data and repurpose it into new imagery. Imagery that inspires us to want to learn more about space or evoke emotional reactions to the wonders of our universe. This year's winner of the Annie Maunder Open category is Fourth Dimension by Leonardo DiMaggio of the United Kingdom. This image combines distant galaxies captured by the James Webb Space Telescope with the inside of a meteorite found on Earth. This demonstrates the connection between the most distant edges of the observable universe and one of the small handful of cosmic artefacts we can reach out and touch. I'm just going to take a quick moment to tell you about the new Astronomy Photographer of the Year book. Uh, this is a perfect way to learn more about Astronomy Photographer of the Year. All 140 images in the shortlist are included in the book, along with insight from the astrophotographers themselves, uh, the competition judges, and expert astronomers. Uh, the book is now available to order online, and it's in our shops at Royal Museums Greenwich. Earth's only natural satellite has almost certainly appeared in more photographs than any other celestial object. However, astrophotographers continue to find new ways to make images of the Moon. The highly commended is Aristarchus on the Moon by Raoul Cantemir from Germany. This detailed study of the Moon demands a close look from any viewer. Using a homemade 300mm Newtonian, Raoul has captured this area in astounding detail. While the runner-up in our Moon category goes to Saturn Rise by Tom Williams from the United Kingdom. This beautiful shot of the occultation of Saturn brings to mind the famous Earthrise image by Apollo 8 astronaut William Anders and encourages us to think about our wide solar system. And our winner for our moon, The Trace of Refraction, by Marcella Giulia Pace from Italy. Marcella's image cleverly records the unique colours and patterns created when light from our sun reflected off the moon is distorted through the Earth's atmosphere over the Mediterranean Sea. A unique light show that highlights the importance of the moon, sun and sea to our lives here on Earth. Every year we honour the newcomers to astrophotography welcoming them to their new community and celebrating the achievements of those just starting out. This year, the accolade of Best Newcomer goes to Encounter Across Light Years by Yuri Gong and Zhijian Ruan from China, 
As with many newcomers, they made the wise decision to practice their skills on Andromeda, when they were fortunate enough to capture a meteorite, perfectly framed against our nearest neighbouring galaxy. This is a great example of the simple rule that you need to be lucky to capture elusive targets, but to get lucky you need to be persistent and capture as much data as you can. So, well done to our best newcomers, and get out there and try to get lucky. We share our orbit of the Sun with millions of objects, ranging in size from tiny micro-asteroids to planets that dwarf our Earth. These objects have fascinated astronomers for millennia, and they continue to make superb targets for astrophotographers. Our highly commended award goes to the War God Meets the Beehive by André Villena from Portugal. This image shows five days of Mars's movement as it first appears to travel towards us and then enters retrograde and drifts away again. This optical illusion tells us a lot about the early understanding of space and even today it is fascinating to watch the dance of the planets. Tom Williams from the UK takes his third award of the evening with Satellites and Storms taking the runner-up award. Jupiter is shown here in great detail. Not only can we see three moons, but the storm band around the planet is clearly visible. And our winner for Planets, Comets and Asteroids is Dan Bartlett of the USA with Comets 12P Pons Brooks taking a final bow. Pons Brooks has made perihelion past Earth only four times since its discovery in 1812 and won't come back to us now until 2095. Unsurprising then that it was the comet to capture in 2024. So we won't be seeing better than this incredible image until Astronomy Photographer of the Year 88. Mark your diaries. We turn now to galaxies, one of the hardest categories to stand out in. Galaxies challenges astrophotographers to find new ways of showcasing popular targets. So, despite the narrow parameters of the contest, it is here that we see some of the greatest skill and longest integration times combined with new and innovative techniques and colour palettes to give new insight into old favourites. Our highly commended goes to Fireworks by Benz Toff, Peter Fototti and Bertalan Kekshis from Hungary. The runner-up award goes to Cosmic Coincidences, Dear Lick and Stefan's Quintet on a ribbon of H-Alpha by the Deep Sky Collective. This large team has members all over the world, bringing together telescopes from eight countries and combining their data to create images that would be impossible without this high level of collaboration. And the winner of the Galaxies category is the Andromeda Core by Wei Tang Liang, Qi Yang, and Zhu Yong Yu from China. This incredibly deep exposure of the core of the Andromeda Galaxy pushes the boundary of how much data can be contained in a single image. Our trio have complemented this highly technical achievement with a striking choice of colour palette and thoughtful composition that invites us to view our nearest galactic neighbour in a new light. As we have studied the cosmos, we have learned a great deal about our universe and the events unfolding on scales humans can barely comprehend. But with this knowledge comes a new appreciation for our own little ball of rock and the billions of people we each share it with. The People and Space category awards those astrophotographers who document human endeavor in space or contrast the brilliance of the cosmos with our meager endeavors in the hopes that we can better appreciate both our unique species and the vastness that surrounds us. Fresh from taking second place in our sun, Zhang Yangwen of China picks up the highly commended award for instant and eternal. This different take on a solar image shows the furthest distance most of us will ever get from Earth and how on the cosmic scale of the solar system, that's not even touching the edge of space. Our runner-up award goes to Takanobu Kurosaki from Japan for his image rotation. This clever composition contrasts a traditional star trail image showing the rotation of the Earth with the counter-rotation of a fairground ride. Somehow both chaotic and calming, this image celebrates the movement of life and the universe. And our winning image for people in space is ISS Lunar Flyby by Tom Williams of the United Kingdom capturing the International Space Station, our largest artificial satellite, fully illuminated against our only natural satellite, is an incredible feat and superbly documents humanity's most remote outpost. Hi, everyone. 
My name is Sam. I'm the founder of ZWO Company. I'm here to announce the winner of ZWO Astronomy Photograph of the Year. We have been serving the astrophotograph community since 2011 and are proud to be partnering with this great competition to help offer astrophotographs a plentiful where their work can be appreciated by the world. It's been a delight to see all the incredible images from the shortest and appreciate the wealth of talent on display from around the world. Truly, every image here is world class, but there can only be one winning image. So it's my honor to announce that Liang Wei Tang, Yang Qi, and Yu Chu Hong from China have won ZWO Astronomy Photograph of the Year for their image Adromeda Core Range. Congratulations from everyone here at ZWO. Your image is an incredible accomplishment, offering a new and incredibly deep view of this popular target.